Kom. Tá bem. Mas já está live? Good afternoon, everyone. We're here in uh, Coimbra for the test match uh, of Portugal versus the United States. Uh, my name is uh, Francisco Castro, and I'm here with Tomás. Tomás, you want to greet uh, the people here? Good afternoon. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's such a great day. It's such a good day to play rugby, and everyone's very looking forward to it. Uh, Portugal's been on a hot streak, so let's go. Both teams looking looking fresh. They're preparing for for kickoff. Uh, Tomas, uh, you you would like to give the the Portuguese 15 and uh, the backups and I'll, I'll, of course, I'll, uh, of course. So number one playing uh, loose head David Costa, playing hooker Luca Pesic, tight head Cody Thomas, uh, number four lock Stevie Cerqueira, five lock Antonio Rubel Andrade. Uh, open side flanker José Madeira, close side flanker Nicolas Martins, number 8 João Granat, scrum half Hugo Camacho, fly half Hugo Ri, 11 winger José Paco Chaves, no. center up Tomás Appleton, 13 José Lima, 14 Rafael Storni, 15 and fullbacks Use it. No, no, I yeah. And the ball is uh, playing already Use and Portugal is inside their 22. Uh, trying to go for the foot and uh, get some territory here and the ball is coming straight out and we'll have the first line out of the match uh, Thanks, for Sammy. the United States. Um, so uh, the, the Portugal, do. United States 15 uh, starts with the number one uh, Jack Iskaro from Old Glory, uh, Shiloh Klein on the Uker position and Alex Mohan as a uh, tight head prop. The United States are, are uh, playing short from the line out now playing on Backwards. the second curtain, a little bit of a bounce there, but uh, able to keep it in possession. And now opening a bit wider, and uh, good job on defense there from Portugal, good pressure. Again, uh, good tackle, and uh, the, the US not able to gain the advantage line. Now trying to play in space, and Portugal get the, the intersection, playing it off the foot, and a good recovery there by the, the American fullback. Recovering the possession now, they're inside the 22 in a tougher position now. Not now, nine now playing short, trying to build uh, USA. a platform to play Use off the it. foot. Five on a pass in front, stop and uh, good pressure, and some time there to place the kick. And he kicks further down the pitch and exiting uh, near the halfway line. Good progression there from from We're the US team. Mark's here. Yeah, yours. Who's in? On Biden, the please. second row, uh, we have Jason Dam and Greg Peterson, the captain. Five in now. Uh, then. And uh, Vilam Helu as a flanker, Curry Daniel as a flanker on the right side, and Paddy Ryan as a number eight. Biden, as the US play now from from line out, and have some space out the wing. And uh, exploring it quite well, stepping back in, good support, allowing for the US to keep the possession now in the good momentum, playing short again, now slowing down the ball a bit, going for the inversion, Stay. trying to build some space for the backs to accelerate, now playing off 10. Now it's some progression, let's see what the, the United States does. And good defense there from uh, Portugal, good pressure, good tackle. Play! Uh, standing up in tackle. And now Portugal trying to go for the kick. And a good blocking uh, from the American defender. Rock now! Onside, step back, back boot. And Portugal Great gets back. the possession back in a tough position inside their, their own five meter line, five meter okay. area. Let's see if they can get out from here. <laughs> Trying to get the ball off the foot and uh, a ball. better kick now. <laughs> Getting out of their own 22 area. Tomas, what do you think of the beginning of the match and uh, what you're seeing? 
uh, Mark is here. Portugal has been very intense on the defense. Um, they are not having the ball that much, but when they're having the ball, they're creating danger. Portugal, uh, no collapse. The last lineup, they lost it. Don't collapse illegal. No illegal. The US to, be, to start playing on uh, Portugal's own half, uh, which is not where which Portugal want to be. And the US Who's in, lads? Been doing really well with the ball in hand. And so, uh, number Nine 10 is out. experience. Uh, plays in Europe, plays in Bristol, so... And yeah, it's, that's unusual of them to lose the lineup. So let's see how Portugal does in attack now. And not a great ball there from yeah. the line out and Portugal taking taking advantage of that, playing uh, wide immediately, trying to explore the speed of the uh, outside back, Simon Bint who goes for the second kick and uh, a block there by the American uh, defender and a good recovery there. No! Again slowing down the game, playing short now, great pressure there from Portugal. Now. Uh, the US will should be patient, try to place the ball yes, uh, no further nine. down the pitch, get some pressure, try to recover it. Let's see what how it goes. A good high kick. And going out, we're going to have the third line out of the match. And uh, just to finish uh, with uh, the American uh, right, 15, open. we open. have uh, AJ McGinty, the fly half, uh, Tavite Lopetti and Dominic Besaka centers on the wings, Nate. Augsburger and uh, corner Moneyham and on the fullback uh, play, I think the Mitch Wilson early. and Portugal again playing on the outside now trying the, the chip kick but a good block there from the yes, their ball the American uh, Mitch Wilson and the ball's coming out again and we have a new, a new line out for for Portugal trying to understand the now for yeah. the US Jack is taking a little chat there with uh, Chalo Klein. Back. And then good line out. Clean. Playing the mole. Out. Out, six. Mole moving forward slowly, yes. but. He's through the middle. But the uh, US being patient here. Ball was gone. Going for the box kick. Good pressure there on the. Uh, on the Portuguese winger who got tackled into their own 22. Now playing the shorter ball. Trying to not no break. To have a decent platform to Use it. kick down the field. No, no. And a uh, high ball now. And going straight out. And we'll have the line out for the US again. What a line out in this, uh, Good listening. Good listening. this start. Very intense, quite a bit of mistakes listening. on the last border of the field. Um, the US is doing listening. really, really well, keeping the pressure on Portugal. Even when they lose the ball, Portugal can't really kick the ball far enough so they get out of the pressure. But um, let's see, Portugal does really, really well on defense. And I'm sure they're happy to keep doing it. And, they and now a good out. steal on the line out for Portugal. I couldn't tell who, who was it. I don't thank know if you, thank you. If you noticed. It seemed like a Tony Wilson. And Tomas now a good pass to Simon Bint who accelerates and tries to attack the gap. And a good tackle as well. Now restarting uh, the other direction. Let's see if Portugal can get the ball out wide like they like to. And now playing it off 10. Good pressure there by the US. Portugal not progressing. Now going back into the left side of the pitch, insisting there. Trying to bring the defenders, try to commit them to that side of the pitch. And another short pass, playing it up the back. And tackle! A good delaying there by the American defense. Port Portugal playing slower now. Use. And front they're going to play off the foot, a high ball. Let's Either see if they can, uh, they can uh, play some pressure and uh, recovering play the ball on. back. And the ball back to the... Forward pass. No. And a forward pass now from... Uh, Greg. 
from AJ McGinty. And we'll have the, um, the first scrum of the match uh, for Portugal. From the escort, please, yeah. Their ball or pass? Just on me. First scrum. Calls are slow. Hit up. Stay balanced. Oh, uh, how? Yeah, this definitely, definitely one of the most uh, important moments of the game. Uh, to see how these two teams are going to match up uh, in this aspect of the game. Crouch. The played together in Bezier, uh, and we have a uh, we have a free kick for Portugal. Who plays uh, quick? Now the ball with Tomas Appleton, uh, and now the inversion, trying to explore the space uh, where the last uh, breakdown took place, and uh, trying to be creative from here. And. Again, playing Zalima, attacking the gap, and now accelerating. Let's see if Portugal can explore this situation. But really good defense here on the on the last side of the pitch by the, the U.S. Uh, backs. Now playing off the second uh, offensive curtain, and the ball. No. The ball taking some time on the Portuguese side to, to be available too much. Uh, what do you think of this, and how will this affect the Portuguese strategy? which uh, always uh, or usually relies on speed and, uh, and a good ball recovery here from Storty. And we can see amazing si things from Storty usually. Side advantage. And a good offload there, good pickup and now pass from the ground and again. Uh, it, it looked like a knock there and we're coming back to, to, to the penalty advantage. And uh, is Portugal going to go for points here and uh, maybe maybe get the the scoreboard working today? Mm, not sure. Too much. You got I'm lucky. Early hit from USA. Too much. Shot fault. Step back. And definitely <laughs> back. going for the post. Let's see if Portugal can get the first points of the match. But definitely, uh, the United States have been have been doing quite well on defense, uh, delaying the Portuguese ball and and kind of uh, ruining their their strength somehow. What does Portugal need to do to get over this and and uh, and get some uh, some of his identity running here on the pitch? And what what are going to be the challenges for the U.S. Uh, if that happens? And we have the first three points of the match for for Portugal, three 0 on the scoreboard. Let's see how the the U.S. team will react to this. They had a quite good start. They had quite a few moments where they put Portugal uh, under pressure inside the 22, making them kick uh, without uh, being actually uh, prepared to put some some good pressure and recover the ball. And a long kick uh, from uh, the US. <laughs> and another penalty for Portugal. Eleven, roll away, you've allowed the start. Roll away. Yeah, not rolling. As, uh, we're lucky if enough to hear fine. what uh, he the referee is communicating to the fair. players. One of the good aspects of the game. Greg, I can't allow a counter rock when I will have another line out uh, with the Portuguese introduction. Wait. And a quick line out from uh, from uh, Portugal, putting the ball back and playing playing on the the shorter channel. Use it. And 
now taking some time. Preparing a good platform for pressure. And uh, again, Open another high in. kick. Let's see what Portugal can do with this. And tapping the ball, but uh, going ball straight line. out of bounds. Just and we'll have uh, another line out now for uh, the US. Yeah. Red 10. Red, wait for the arm. Wait. And uh, Portugal recovering the ball, but with a knock on, One, and we'll have two. another scrum now. USA scrum. Really Here we come, lads. So first scrum was early wait from them, but you must take the hit. In the first so scrum, we had the uh, the free kick, and. Uh, we couldn't see much of a of a proper scrum. Let's see. Let's see how this one goes. I'm really interested to see how how the US is going to do in this part of the game, and how Portugal is going to stand up. Bind. Set. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're going to come across. So look, your setup was really good there. It's a difficult pitch, so we must bring our feet forward, okay? Hit high, feet forward. There was no fault there. Same timing though. And... Um. Packs preparing for uh, another scrum. Crouch! Bind! Set! Stay up! Stay high! And the ball's out the scrum. And straight to the, the American winger who gets some progression advantage. and now advantage from offside there the Portuguese player getting back into position and affecting uh, the American attack now playing short playing on the and now a good a good, uh, a good situation for the US is gonna score the first try of the match and the first try for the USA here in Coimbra. I think he scored. It's No, clearly, uh, really good uh, action here by um, by Paddy Ryan, uh, coming from a, a succession of good of good carries by by uh, the U.S. attack. Uh, let's see if um, if uh, AJ McGinty has uh, the ability to place the kick in between the posts and get uh, two extra points for the conversion, and uh, and get uh, Portugal in a tougher situation here. Uh, in front of their home uh, home crowd. How will Portugal react to this? Uh, let's see. But uh, really well done here by the the US. Five. Don't get up on the wrong side. Tackle, get out. And uh, a long um, a drop kick and a missed tackle there by the Portuguese uh, number seven. Nicolas Martins. And a high kick uh, from the US and uh, Simon Bento jumping for the ball. 
not able to control it, but uh, still uh, uh, managed to to keep possession. And Nicolas Martins, Taco, good support there from Portugal, now playing at the back, uh, trying to to explore the other side of the pitch. Simon Bento attacking the gap, and the ball to José Pava dos Santos, who drops it. And now we have the, the ball possession for the US, and a good, good kick down the pitch. Let's see, and uh, the US putting Portugal under a difficult situation. Uh, four points down in the, the scoreboard, and uh, with the line out inside the 122. Smash. Greg, I won't give not rolling if your players pin them in. And Portugal able to uh, get some territory here, and we'll have a line out on the the 40 meter line for for the US. On the line, Portugal. Late. See you. Lean. And uh, again, Portugal, when they don't, um, when they don't uh, get the ball off the lineup, they at least make it difficult for the US to take the ball out. Now the ball back to AJ again, and kick down the field. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And now playing uh, on the counter, and ball goes to Zé Pavel de to get tackle on the wing. And now looking for the inversion, we're playing off 10 and a long kick, trying to go for the 50-22. And the ball staying inside the pitch. Really good action there from the coming, USA. the US uh, back. Now a little bit of uh, of uh, rugby ping pong here. And now Portugal attacking uh, by hand. And good uh, support there. Again, a slower ball now for Portugal, they're resetting their attack. Now they're playing with Cheesy, playing uh, playing the ball to the pocket, but they're getting a penalty for something the referee didn't uh, like there. Sorry, we'll do it. Uh, very young. smart players, very smart backs, very fast, but the US has been able to, to counterattack everything that Portugal sent their way. So, very interesting game here in the Russia. I think it's all also important to to analyze context. Uh, the, so the last time Portugal faced the US, uh, Portugal was already qualified for the for the World Cup uh, here in Portugal in the Algarve, and the US was clearly uh, preparing. Uh, this new campaign for the uh, World Cup in Australia, so clearly uh, renovating the team and uh, maybe trying some uh, some different uh, players and, and positions as well. Uh, but the last time we played uh, and we were in a similar context, uh, like it was in in uh, in the World Cup uh, qualification match that uh, Portugal ended up tying on the on the last moment. Um, that was a very, very close game and a very balanced game, and uh, it, was, it was a tie. You can't get as, 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 uh, as even as that. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really enthusiastic about this game, and uh, let's see how, how it goes. And uh, it's, it's going well for, for the US so far, and Portugal clearly need yeah. to, need to figure out how they're gonna, how they're gonna. Um, um, be able to to play their own game, play mm -hmm. their own style, uh, which they haven't been able to. Or, or I mean, they've tried to, but uh, not successfully. And now a, a, a knock no, on no. Uh, off the mall. And uh, we'll have now uh, a scrum for 
for no, Portugal. Yeah, on the ground, inside yeah, own half. Inside yeah. the, the, the US half. That was a really nice one on your ball, so same again, please. Take the hit. Remember, hit high, beat forward, pitch is not an excuse. I can clearly uh, can tell uh, that uh, that the Americans are more structured. At least, at least from from what I see, they play a more structured style of, of rugby. Maybe they have more more uh, solutions to different problems. But um, maybe maybe they they lack some of the creativity that Portugal brings into the game. Right? You, you, when the ball gets to the outside backs of Portugal, you never know what's going to happen. Like. Uh, Anything can happen with Simon Bento, Storti, or, or uh, Giuseppe okay, Ivalucian. Okay. We have some really good talent uh, uh, in the American team, uh, but not that type of uh, um, creativity, I think. But still, uh, Portugal has a great project. Uh, um, uh, Portugal, uh, the US has a great project. Mm -hmm. They've been they've been investing uh, for for a few years. They they already have a professional league as well, and I think those. Those uh, investments are, are gonna are gonna bring results uh, some some time. No. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but uh, they'll definitely bring results. Uh, I mean, it has done already. And uh, no. the US again with uh, the possession now, now trying to get into the Portuguese uh, half, and now good pressure there no. by the Portuguese uh, back rows. And again. Uh, very and the Portugal getting the, the penalty here. Well done defensively, getting two uh, defensive phases on the forward momentum. And now Tomas Appleton taking the chance and uh, getting some meters. And let's see if Portugal can keep the ball alive and go for the score. And we have uh, what seems to be Nicolas Martinez on the other side. And Portugal keeping the ball alive, like you said, uh, Tomas. This might be the strategy for Portugal to go uh, all the way. And now Tomas again uh, playing out wide and good hands here from Portugal. Let's see if Sturdy goes for the try. Great run and this try for Sturdy on the right wing. With the bench coming straight up to celebrate with him. And the go home crowd goes crazy here in uh, Coimbra. As we were mentioning, it's, uh, they have to play out wide. The uh, US has been very, very strong in the middle of the field. Uh, out wide, it's where they are. Um, that's where Portugal is most strong. Um, Rafael Sorti is clearly um, one of our one of the best players Portugal has to offer. Um, very young, 23, 24 years old, and so much to give. But I think most of Portugal threats are coming on his side of the wing. It's, and like you said, Tomás, if Portugal uh, keep the ball alive and keep the, keep the momentum and, and uh, don't don't allow the US defense to delay the Portuguese game, uh, Portugal is successful. And uh, with playing simple, uh, they, they've done it quite well here uh, with a great try. More collective try than the, the American one that we saw before. Uh, but still, Portugal still has... Uh, uh, a lot of time to play, same as US, still plenty of match to play and uh, I'm excited, it's on. Now we have the opportunity for uh, Ugu Oki to, to, to get the conversion. The kick. Is good. And it goes in. Ten seven. Ten seven yeah. for Portugal. What's that? And uh, let's see the the reaction well. from uh, the, the US team now. Good high kick.
inside the 22. Good, good pressure and good tackling and uh, Portugal. Use it. Trying to get the ball available again to come up the pitch. No, Greg. Okay. And a uh, high kick there from uh, Damashu. If you collapse the rock, going straight the out, and we'll okay. have a line up now for, Thank you. for the US. We, we good? Who's your nine? And the uh, US playing from line out, attacking the, the defensive line right away, and keeping the, the direction of the game. Now, now looking for the inversion. A lot of people coming. Let's see if, if the. They go back for me. All back for me. The US can take something out of here. Now, good tackle there from Nicolas Martins. And we have a knock on you and don't come from Portugal. Don't good defending there, Maybe. good production from uh, the Martins. With a pretty big hit. So, uh, and, uh, Bad knock on. Making the, the, um, the American uh, the injured. Yeah, we'll time off. Pity, uh, Time's off, the ball take your time. Jack, there was a slap down, you'll tell us. That's fine, we've got time off. And 30 minutes and uh, we have the first time the break for the Portuguese uh, uh, right prop, uh, Luka Vizic. No, uh, Cordillo Thomas. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch that. Thank you. Jaffa, did you hear me? Thanks, pal. We've got an injury. Have to go. Yeah, cool. Uh, Tomas, and uh, since we, we have a, a little break here, nothing clear. Um, footage, so we'll just go with what you, we got you took some time to, to look into yeah, thanks, the so. Portuguese and uh, the American side. We have a lot of experience, yeah, a lot of talented going? players here. No, look, the there, yeah, there's yeah, a mix of experience in. Um, Experience and debut. We got a couple of people. We got a couple of players in the U.S. debuting as well as Portugal. Um, a lot, quite a few players from the team that went to the World Cup from Portugal have moved on. Um, I believe David Costa, uh, Nicolas Martins, João Granato, Steve Cercar are probably the, the only ones that uh, remain from the World Cup in the Gosh. forwards and uh, in the back. Uh, the, the halves Bye. and Jeff Anderson didn't uh, didn't go to the World Cup, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit of mix. And US wait, is wait. also restructuring the team, as you said, right, a lot of new people. Banish, um, nine offside. Very looking forward to the first overall draft nine of offside. the Major nine. Rugby League. Uh, Eric Storti, uh, not a, not related to Rafael Storti from Portugal, uh, <laughs> just the same nine last time. Side. Very looking forward to that player. And um, yeah, it seems that the teams are very very equal, as you keep saying. It's um, the U.S. just missed the last World Cup, beating every World Cup since the early 2010. So, looking forward to not making that mistake again Nine. next year, uh, the next couple of years. And Portugal is looking forward to a second participation in the World Cup. So, it's a very it's for if you're looking uh, at the second year of rugby uh, worldwide, this is probably the best game you'll find today. And again, uh, uh, Portugal. Playing a bit of street rugby here, almost uh, off the line out, but able to to structure their attack uh, Take back. quite well. And now Hugo Bree trying to take the chance for a 50 uh, 22, but the ball is going long, and uh, we'll have a scrum inside the Portuguese half. It was unlucky with the bounce. Um, it was a very good kick, very, very well played, but the bounce wasn't. Um, that fortunate to Portugal, but very fortunate to the US, who's going to go back to their to their to the midfield and put some pressure on Portugal with a scrum to their advantage. And Portugal not getting a, a good yeah. ball off the line out and uh, playing playing two phases uh, and, uh, of uh, slower balls and recovering, and then out of uh, out of that uh, trying for a 50-22. Uh, does Portugal need to be maybe a little more patient and build more into uh, entering the American side of the pitch and then from there uh, bring their uh, big guns like Storti, Pavel Dushantos and Simon Bento? I think you, just keep, you, keep you need going. to keep the ball moving. Um, 
US has been ruthless on the defense, and yeah, right. Portugal needs to keep the because they're losing in the individual defense, uh, individual duels in the defense versus attack. So they need to keep Set. the ball running, put it to the wings, and just play from there. Use their own. Seems strong. Uh, Portugal is faster team than the US right, it seems, um, and just put we the ball in the, the wingers and just good. try and right. get the advantage, get through the advantage line over there and then just make their own game. Okay. But the US has been very solid on the defense. Uh, on the attack as well, the halves of US are very, very experienced, both one playing we'll the Curry Cup in South Africa's here. premier competition, another one uh, AJ plays oh. in um, British Premiership, uh, so best. very, very, very experienced and no, and, and we can we can clearly tell uh, really good actions from uh, AJ McKinty uh, all along the game. And uh, now we have a scrum, and let's see how, how the US prepares to attack from this. Let's able to, to get uh, a good steady scrum and playing attack from the right side of the pitch. And now they have numbers. Can they use it? And the ball going out to the wing and a missed tackle there from Five uh, of but uh, and, and, and ending up on the ground, uh, the American wing and another uh, very dangerous inversion for the US. Let's see if they can get Inside. something out of this. Now Bye. playing a faster ball, short, but good defending and it's playing advantage now. And uh, really good uh, situation now for the US. Let's see if they can uh, t make use out of this. And now some space to go for the try and a wider pass. And a try for the US as they go up ahead. Nate Oxberger playing for the Chicago Hounds with the first try for uh, with the second try for the US uh, tonight and uh, the US is back in the lead amazing job here from uh, uh, the American backs uh, getting the ball, the ball out to space and uh, making use of the space that Portugal, that Portugal allowed uh, after dragging uh, the whole Portuguese defense to the right side of the pitch and uh, still playing an extra phase short there uh, with the Portuguese penalty and the, the American advantage and after that uh, the US uh, utilizing the space quite well and uh, throwing the ball into the, into the space and uh, scoring the second try of the match. Now they're two points ahead, let's see if they get the, con the conversion and go to go four points ahead. Uh, Tomas, what a good uh, first half we've had here so far. And a great kick here from uh, AJ. The score is very even, uh, but I, as I mentioned, I believe the US are playing a bit better game. Uh, doing the basics, they're not overcomplicating stuff, they're just um, playing their own game, simple, nice and simple. Um, go to contact, quick rock, open wide, and yeah, that's pretty much how you play rugby these days. It's two very distinct uh, styles of play. And uh, <laughs> now we have a... I don't think You've it, got I think the... the line Portugal. Yeah. No, exactly. the referee gives line out. But as you're saying, Portugal has, Portugal has the flair, but the US seems to have the basics more... Um, ingrained in their game they're Portugal. not comfortable no they're very comfortable in their own game and no it seems to be working so and um and greg peterson with the ball still well done here by, by the american well. puck uh, covering the ball from the head in a very tough position their own captain yeah. and now getting the ball down the pitch but still, Portugal is very comfortable in the situation they're going to be put at at, at this moment. So you're, you're kicking it wide. Uh, yes, Tori, like playing it back to Simon Bento, will try to attack uh, the, this side. And there might be uh, something more uh, serious here for Starkey. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the light tackle. On, uh, Cafe very, clinical, very clinical, very clinical, very clinical because very dangerous and I think it has to come to do with a bit of experience, maybe delaying the game a bit more when Portugal is on offense. I don't, um, I don't think uh, Rafael Estorti's kick uh, would uh, would bring much uh, to, to, to the Portuguese attack. I think 
probably the US would recover it and play, and play with uh, their own ball. But still, Let's go. the penalty might have been a, a, a good decision there from the, the American uh, defense. But still, but now they're playing inside their own, uh, their own uh, 22. 22, and uh, it's a line-on for Portugal, and, and they're under pressure. And we have a uh, full line-out now. But Portugal not able to, to get the possession and uh, looks what looks like a knock-on. Yes, confirmed by the referee. And we'll have a scrum for the US. 10 meters uh, from their own uh, try line. Yeah, it was. Not, not Portugal has been having some difficulties on the, on the set pieces, uh, line-outs. Greg Peterson has been doing such a good job. A uh, very experienced player. Actually played in the Waratahs a couple of years ago. Um, he started his career in Australia. Uh, he's been dominating the lineouts. Uh, scrum, the scrums. Portugal hasn't been doing much, and the US just seems to have a better control of the game than Portugal. So um, they're in their head on the score, and they're just happy um, and doing very, very well their own game. So it's going to be very, very complicated Try. for Portugal. And the even though the US have Five. been inside the 22 for, for some time, they, they don't look nervous. They don't, they don't, they don't, it doesn't look like they're feeling the pressure that being in that part of the pitch uh, brings. And uh, they're playing calmly. They, they know their own game. They know what they have to do. They, they, they've read the script, uh, I'd say. And they're playing their own game, uh, simplifying the uh, processes here, playing short, and now uh, now trying to, to get some territory. And uh, with a good kick. So Portugal uh, now having some patience and uh, deciding to go for for the the more formal liner instead of playing it quick. And this is a this is a place where Portugal likes to attack. It's from here. So it's from uh, as soon as you get into their own half, they're going to speed up the game. They're going to accelerate the ball. Let's see what Portugal is going to do from this line out. And a really good tackle there. Uh, a little predictable there from the. The, the Portuguese backs, the ball going into Tomás and uh, not much coming from there. And now we have Camacho kicking the ball inside the 22. And time is gone. Time is gone. The US wing uh, asking for... They're going to kick it out. They're going to kick it out and, and, it out and uh, we have half time. It's half time here in Coimbra with a score 14-10 uh, for the US. Tomás, what a first half. Very good first half. As you were mentioning, US seems to be comfortable playing everywhere in the field. Their own 22, Portugal's 22. They're, it must be very missing the war, but it's very frustrating for Portugal to. They're throwing everything they can to the US, and the US has, every, has been given every answer. Um, they've only been able to create problems out wide with Storti. Uh, ball hasn't been coming to Storti that much because the US has been able to defend very, very well in the center. Very pressure, as you can see on the last play, very fast moving up uh, the line of defense. Welcome back uh, for the second half here in uh, Coimbra, Port Portugal, uh, with the teams coming back uh, on the pitch for for restart. Any changes? You see? I'm trying to try to look uh, and identify uh, some changes that might have happened, but uh, on a first glance, it seems like everything's the same. Too much. And the uh, second half is on. And uh, what are you expecting of this uh, after this amazing first half we had here in, uh, in Coimbra? Just that the uh, US is going to keep doing their game very, very good. Uh, and Portugal will need to. Portugal keep trying to find ways to get to the try zone. Very fast turnover there, but losing the ball immediately after a knock on. And uh, we have an advantage now for the US. Uh, playing off the foot. Uh, and 
and uh, with a good pressure, but a good duel there in the air, and uh, uh, Storti uh, finishing up with uh, possession. Very, yeah. And we have uh, Portugal uh, trying to play on the wider channel, but uh, the ball bouncing off the ground, and uh, Portugal need to restart their offensive uh, charge. Now playing short on the right, but a uh, good recovery there uh, on breakdown uh, by uh, the US uh, defensive. And now playing out wide in, in the US has space, can they utilize it? And a uh, wide, wide pass now, let's see if they can get some advantage here. Uh, good job by Pavel dos Santos uh, tackling uh, the US number 14 uh, here on the right side of the pitch. Uh, good, uh, good phases now from US, uh, always uh, progressing. Now playing it a bit wider, but good pressure from Portugal. And, uh, switching the direction of the game now. And, uh, no, no, no! As the US tries to progress, but good defending now from Portugal. Good three phases here from Portugal on defense. And now, good decision there from Zelima. But uh, the US still managing to keep the ball alive and uh, getting it to the wider channel. Ball there. And again available to play and good job here and attacking the gap there. Great job. Oh, I love it when uh, when the front row gets a line break. Pro up on the loose. Pro up on the loose. And again, quick hands from uh, the US now. Um, <laughs> And again attacking the, the same gap and uh, the pass missed and uh, Portugal have now the advantage. Storti with the kick but were blocked uh, by the, the American defender. And a little bit of Portuguese style of playing here from the US. Uh, it's much, uh, we're changing uh, the things a bit. Yeah, they really enjoyed watching Portugal play so they're <laughs> adapting the same game plan. Uh, the first man rarely goes in contact, always try to play wide. Um, doing it better than Portugal because Portugal has been trying to do that yeah. since the beginning of the second half and it's always knock on or some kind of confusion there. But the US has been doing, just the US has been doing such a good game. Um, very comfortable everywhere. Yes. Defense, no, attack, no ball with no ball. Um, really, well, it's really not ready, but I'll give you it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting a game to be hey, good um, for the US to put such pressure on Portugal and it's just been a US game since the beginning. So really, really and, uh, good game by US and the, the US uh, since the, the second half started clearly uh, trying to play off the pocket and then attacking the, the, the channel right after it right after the, the, the first port it worked once uh, with a with the front row uh, line break that, that you saw uh, I know Pot right so fellas you're a fan of, of, uh, of the situation we saw when and, we get uh, the this time not working uh, because of, feet of a uh, mistake on the pass Stay up. and uh, feet forward but uh, but uh, really the pitch is not done from the US on this beginning of the second half and let's see if they can keep this momentum and, and, and keep going until the end of the game uh, the United States are still uh, four points ahead and, uh, you're on eight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how quickly we react. Strong uh, beginning of the, the second half. Bind! <laughs> Set! <laughs> oh, Go, boy! Play the ball! Now. And advantage for Portugal? Or just uh, I think it's just request to play the ball? Play. Play and on. a long kick now from Portugal. Uh, not an individual pressure, but a collective one now. Uh, the line setting up on the halfway line and uh, able to, to prevent uh, any more damage. Now a cheap kick from uh, the US. And uh, David Costa. Oh, and well well done. Good pass Good now. This is going to be the try for the US. And what a tackle there from Simon Bent. Oh, try saving tackle there from uh, the, for the Portuguese uh, number 15. Again, uh, good pressure. Van is no arms. And the advantage now from the US and no the US have again the advantage and now they can risk a little bit more. Let's see if they go for the try. And uh, over there. Like there was a, a knock on and the advantage over. We're coming back to the penalty. Yeah. Very the typical tackle from David Costa. He does that all the time. Tackle. This time just didn't wrap his arms around. What's so the best penalty. decision now for the US, uh, Tomas, in your opinion? Scrum. Are, are you going for, for scrum? As a forward, I would say scrum. <laughs> As a former prop, you, you, you always say scrub. 
and uh, but, uh, but the US been deciding to go to for the line. line. They've been dominating on Wait, every set piece, so it's whatever they feel more Nothing comfortable in the air. with. As we mentioned, Greg Pearson. USA, no over two meters uh, really hard, so doesn't even need to jump that high to get the ball. So my, my question was more on the should if have they gone for posts and, and, and get seven points ahead? And, they uh, they and seem to be on, so on top of the game that uh, there's no well, no need to put that type of pressure on. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but uh, we spoke too soon. <laughs> Speaking too soon, Portugal recovering the ball from the line out and then. And line is yours. Relieving uh, uh, some of the, the pressure. Line. But still, uh, they're inside, uh, they're on half, they're almost inside their own 22, and uh, the US with another line out. Oh, and another steal for Portugal. Second in a row for Nicolas Martins. And uh, Hugo Bri now trying to uh, get some more ter territory, but uh, not able to, to get the ball out. I mean, not a, could not put the ball out. Advantage to US again. Yes, we got a point. Had a mistake there on the breakdown from the Portuguese defense, but uh, still with an advantage and uh, not able to to conquer the gain line uh, here. With two phases uh, going back. Good pressure again from Portugal. Good tackle. Now the US trying to speed the game. A good cross kick. Let's see if they can uh, take use uh, of this. But good, good defending. And we're coming back to the original advantage and the, the penalty. Three, but off been beats. able to stop. So it's the second time in a row that the US has to go to Nine. kick three. wide, not really getting any territory. So yeah, Portugal up their game in the defense as well. Uh, mm -hmm. You've been talking a lot about Portugal's three flair, but US flair on the offense has been really, really good. Pick hands, safe hands. Not three, sorry, two. Very interesting bit of a sorry, two. Kind of switch oh, what we're three. saying. <laughs> the beginning of the game um, the US was doing the basics Almost. a bit more and Portugal was just using their flair but uh, yeah, it seems that Gap. it changed it changed and uh, the US are going for the third line out uh, in a row and uh and uh, let's see, let's see if they can get the ball this time. Uh, Portugal have been uh, defending quite well in the second half, and uh, another recovery for Portugal. And uh, Camacho trying to get the ball into space for Hugo Bri, who passes it to Granata. Now we have quick hands and some space for Portugal out wide. Are they going all the way? And Stori now yeah, kicking it yeah, wide. Yeah. Can, can Stori go? Can Stori go all the way now? And a good bounce there for the American defense. who have to kick it out inside their own 22. For a Portuguese line out on the opposite side of the pitch. It's the third in a row for Nicolas Martins. Just 12. I thought the US would start Must avoiding stop. throwing the ball to Nicolas Martins' area, but uh, yeah, no such a good player, such a good player, such a good World Cup he did, and doing really, really well in France as well. Uh, but yeah, that's again, Stardi is probably the most dangerous weapon Portugal has to to throw at the US. Anymore. Yeah, and, uh, and, and and speaking of set pieces in the the first half, <laughs> like the, 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 the team that's introducing is losing most of the, of the lineups. And now a good recovery for Portugal and a pop to uh, Zalima trying to attack the inside shoulder and uh, good on breakdown there. Good pressure from the US. The Americans very active on the on the on breakdown, but not easily yeah, yeah. this time and uh, allowing for the penalty for Portugal. And we were talking, uh, Tomas, uh, we were talking about the first half and now the US had, had, had been uh, quite strong on the set pieces and uh, with three lineouts, uh, Portugal changing the statistics a bit. Then uh, Touch. the US recovering back and now we have a lineout with the Portuguese introduction. So the line is the mark. Put, uh, the US in, uh, in a Wait till difficult position. We're seeing the US struggle for the first time in the game uh, with these big turnovers. Boring, boring. And yeah, but Zulima, very, very smart, very experienced, avoiding the first tackles, keeping the ball in play for not having his ruck turned over. It's very important to have players like this in the game. And again, Portugal but almost losing the ball, but uh, the ball bouncing off the, the lineups into Rafael Camacho. Thank you, ball is away. Little mistake there on the name of the Portuguese scrum half. It's uh, And now we're playing it wider off uh, 
Tomas Appleton, the, the captain's uh, go, go, go. now uh, playing the uh, middle field. Uh, Portugal slowing down the ball a bit, now playing uh, there close to the, the, the previous breakdown. Uh, chewing up the game a little bit in that area of the, of the pitch. Now trying to get some space, now utilizing the foot. Can Portugal go for the try? A good support. And in, taken back. Scrum. Taken back into the the try area with the with the touchdown, and uh, we'll have we'll have a scrum five for Portugal. Yeah. Take our time. We'll take our time off. It's not very good, is it? We might have to go there. But it's, uh, we're talking about, we were saying that the US, I think the players are listening to us because every time we say something, the next play they start <laughs> doing right. what we're saying. So, Portuguese with the floor. I don't think we're going to have a play to unless we take good it hands, big hands. Uh, this is when just there's nothing else to explore, someone puts a kick behind the defense and we're gonna have one a lot of pressure uh, from the, 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 here first. the forward. So, and very uh, smart. We're from here. Right. And uh, now we have a scrum the feet for forward. Uh, Portugal. Yeah, the US player forward. brought the ball from the very field of play into their forward. own end zone. And um, yeah, and so that equals to a scrum half on the five meter line. Uh, which is an introduction. Yeah, the, you've got to stay in. You can't then go across from the scrum. You can stay close, but you cannot leave the scrum. You have to stay behind the ball. Yes. Yeah. And the US prepares to yeah, do their yeah, yeah, first uh, change of the right. game in the front row. Five! Five. What? On the US side. Well, short, yeah, we get off the back! Uh, <laughs> That's a clear Davis, slip. Uh, We're going to come across. To get it's a clear slip. From the Houston uh, Sabercats. We tried to. Hey, hey, good team, good team. Our, it's a clear slip. There's nothing you can do there. The referee's changing the place of the scrum. It's just oh, due to, yeah. the, to the field. Keep for me. That one players have been fighting quite a lot there, so. Yeah, the two scrums uh, in a row in that area. In the same area. It's very hard for the pitch. Moving uh, into the, the, the pitch a bit. Get some more grip. And let's see. But very even on all areas of the game. It's a really, really good game. Crouch! Five! Let's go, Warnie! And Portugal Set. really needs to get a good scrum here. Yeah. Yeah. Steady yeah. and uh, it's perfect. Good, good ball to attack. Uh, Kamashi taking some time and uh, Tomas Appleton deciding to attack. Uh, close and now Portugal yeah, ball was out. taking their time and uh, delaying a bit uh, the ball inside the breakdown. And now we're preparing for the inversion. Can they utilize it? And the ball trying to get quick up wide, but. Uh, with a Portuguese One, knock. Two. Scrum. And uh, scrum One, for the US. Two. A bit of a, a missed chance here from, from Portugal to get some scores on the board. Some points on the board. Good work. Nice work at scrum. I know it's hard, but we do what we have. Yeah. Now uh, a couple of scrums. Uh, Consecutive scrums, uh, delaying here the game a bit. As we have the first substitution on the white front row. The and as forward, it seems it like it. Portugal is preparing their first uh, substitution in the front row as well. With Diogo as Freire taking off uh, the bib and heading to the table. Another one of the members who went to the World Cup in 2023. Very powerful set piece. Um, yeah, it's going to be very important right. for him to go to get into the game very well. He had a, a quite Five. an important role uh, for uh, for Portugal Set. in the World Cup. Stay up. On the American side, Alex Morgan uh, was uh, who came up, and a penalty now for Portugal at this scrum. And uh, eighteen. It's it's very hard for a new prop to come in, scrum. especially on. When the scrums are so even, very intense, and then it takes a bit to adapt, and 
that's what happened here. So yeah, the, the Portuguese team was able to was the first time that someone that actually gained an advantage on something on a scrum, and it won't always be like this. But at least the first one is always a bit tricky for the upcoming the entering prop. And we have another prop uh, preparing to come in for the US with the number sixteen. Uh, Capelli Pifelletti. Once. And uh, Portugal playing uh, from the ball. The ball is not progressing. And, uh, Portugal trying to go for the try and the uh, knock. And uh, the US playing the turnover with the white pass. No advantage. Well, the scrum here. And uh, we're going back to to uh, white scrum. Uh, <laughs> where the last couple of scrums have been. Port <laughs> Portuguese knock on. Um, and and, and Diogo Astrada goes in you, you into got, the Portuguese squad. I see who comes out. I think it's Cody. What happened here? Cody Thomas. Cody Thomas. Um, the, the props coming in for US in a couple of minutes. Plays for the Saracens. Very good young player. Um, so very looking forward to see what he brings to the game as well. As um, once all campus prepares to come in, it seems for Portugal. Antonio Campos uh, debut. Right, lads. Antonio Campos debut. You for cannot pre-engage. It's not an issue. You come on, we have pre-engage. Space. Young player from Benfica, um, historical club. Not only in rugby, but a very no historical and very well-known club. Portugal yeah. and worldwide, uh, making his debut today in front of his friends and family. He, the, he has been one of the top scorers in the Portuguese championship and uh, earning the, the chance to, to join the, the Lobos uh, for the first time Five. for the first series. Uh, really excited to, to see about his uh, debut. And uh, steady scrum now, the US uh, coming out. Uh, to the right side with good support and now uh, with some space to to put pressure on the the Portuguese side and a good kick and no one back uh, to to get this ball. It's a very good kick you go from your try line to the opposite half it's very very good kick. It, it was a good kick for sure but uh, Portugal left a lot of space there as well. Like there was no one to to, to challenge the the kick. And the, Three. That all the time in the in the world to get out of the pitch. And now we have a lineup for Portugal who are inside their own uh, halfway line again, and the ball goes uh, over again. And good support from uh, the US who try to keep the ball alive now. Options wide, but deciding to go into contact now, accelerating, playing it into the second curtain in the pocket, attacking the space, but uh, the, the Portuguese defense not allowing uh, the offload, the pressure again, and uh, a bit of an uh, accident with the referee, but uh, it's back up, it's uh, back and running. No time for, for staying on the ground. And uh, Knock on there. By I don't think it was a knock on. I think it was offside. No, you cannot use a, 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 a scrum from offside. I, I, it, it was either it was either a knock on on the ground or a obstruction, a involuntary obstruction. We might have been that. And, uh, Another substitution. Let's for see the if the referee says anything. And with the number 17, Santiago Lopez coming also in. Debut. Uh, also debut. Also debuting for yes. Portugal team. The young Portuguese from uh, Cascais so new, uh, playing uh, no pre -engage. Uh, number two no. hooker no. here no. in uh, Coimbra. And Antonio comes oh. also already on the field. So we've re Portugal's replaced one half 
of the, the half and two thirds of the front row. The same as US. Five. Set. Wait. The ball's available for Portugal. We play to Grobby, who tries to kick it long and a uh, long kick and bouncing out. And we'll have a line out for the US. Always out. Face square. Good kick from Always out. Now. The pace of the game has decreased a bit uh, in the last couple of minutes, but with the new substitutions coming in, yeah, it's going, it's going to... It's becoming more about the set pieces, isn't it? And uh, if the US were dominated, uh, dominating in the, the first half, they, they're not doing it so, so clearly now in the second. It's more even. And uh, if you're an appreciator of the... the the static phases uh, in rugby, uh, you're enjoying Play the second on. half, I think. And, uh, on. and now, um, I think Portugal, red, the yeah, with Portugal now with a, with a chance to play the turnover and they get they get some space so for Pavel Shantis to play on the wing, on the wing, and as he likes to explore these uh, short gaps uh, that uh, show up on the, that part of the pitch. Now the ball available again for Portugal to play on the switch direction and now playing uh, with short pass on the on the flat uh, line and uh, now Portugal trying to accelerate but having some difficulty there and uh, Tomas Appleton trying to explore uh, in between the centers but no space for him as Portugal needs to hurry and uh, play whatever they have in front of them. Uh, now resetting their attack, uh, playing a slower ball, now playing short, going into contact, but good pressure from the US side. As uh, Portugal tries to, try to accelerate again, almost drops the ball, but able to uh, keep it in possession. You're off feet, you're off feet. You're off feet, he's there. Exactly, he's there. He's now there. Portugal playing back, and uh, another pocket pass, and now they have numbers out wide, can they use it? We have Storti on the wing, it seems like Storti has his step, and he goes into the draw line for the second try for Portugal. It's Zé Lima. Zé Lima scores the try. And Zé Lima scores the try on the wing. Amazing job from uh, Zé Lima, the Portuguese uh, international, scoring the second try for Portugal. And, uh, and uh, bringing Portugal in front uh, in the scoreboard. Seeing the replay, Zalima with a celebratory jump. Too much. The game was cold. It just got worn back quick. Seems like we, uh, we can't talk too much. Uh, about Good one thing we're right. When Portugal gets the ball to the wing, there's points there, and um, it wasn't one of the wingers. It was the outside center, and again, that's where Portugal needs to play. The game is cooling down, as I said. A bit more focus on the set pieces. Um, that makes that's a good that's a good game for Portugal because they can speed up the game, put the ball on the wing, and just score. And uh, we have another substitution on the American side. Uh, we have uh, Eric Eric Storty coming in uh, with number 22, and uh, uh, Jake Turnbull uh, coming in with number 17 for the hook position. Also a debut for Eric Storty. So Storty versus Storty might be the new story of the game. <laughs> As, uh, and I think Portugal is also doing one substitution. Trying to understand uh, Manuel to, to, what, to what position Eric Sturdy can in, because he, he can play either fly half or fullback. It seems as if uh, he's in the fullback position as, uh, as AJ is going for the pick-up pick. Manuel Varad is going fullback and Simon Bent is going winger. No. And uh, who came out? Did you get a chance? Uh, to yes, it was Zepa Vulchanch came out for Manuel Varad. Manuel Varad is taking the the fullback position and Simon okay. Bent's moving on to the uh, wing. Portuguese youngster uh, playing again ready, for, ready. for yes. Portugal. Construction. And uh, penalty for the obstruction. It is new in the wrong 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 coming out and uh, the referee is being much more uh, uh, Escorting, clear uh, the wrong way. 
much more picky on these uh, types of situations. We want to see duels one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Okay, so Portugal's bringing another front row and he's going to bring another Rebold um, Andrade, another lock. His brother is actually playing uh, number five. Can, can we see two brothers playing together on the Portuguese side or are we seeing a substitution brother for brother? We'll we see just now. As, uh, the man with the yeah. best moustache on the field today is coming out, David Costa. <laughs> the Portuguese captain coming out for Antonio Machado dos Santos. Another prop that uh, was in the squad for the World Cup, uh, although he didn't play. And the locks now are two brothers. Both yes. build and the TV circuit is coming out. And we have the brothers Antonio and Jose on the, on the locks position for Portugal. Uh, we have a knock on of the line out here and we'll have a scrum for the US. With uh, both first rows completely refreshed on the pitch. And uh, let's see how the scrum goes for, for the US. I know. He gets very unlike for years there. I think you maintain. Let's see how Antonio Machat does in his first scrum. Go! Five! Let's have prop. Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Nine! Ten! Eleven! Twelve! Thirteen! Fourteen! He's doing very well. He forced the... The tie had to, to here, USA, there was to move a bit backwards, so very good start to Antonio Manol, which had the game here. Both teams are and moving uh, for the ball, but we need feet forward, especially him. Yeah, if he gets the, the good momentum right on the bind, right, uh, makes it difficult for the, the US uh, opposition to, to get in the strong position. Let's see, we have a scrum reset. Let's see if something comes out of here. Crouch! As we go into the five, sixty-six uh, minutes, set, and uh, already preparing uh, the substitutions on the Portuguese side. And the ball's available for the US. We we'll play a short pass and uh, a good tackle there from uh, Thomas Appleton, delaying uh, the attack. Good pressure from uh, Jose Lima. It seems yes. it is. Good game, Jose has been playing so far. And uh, again, the US trying to attack off the pocket right away, and attack the line, and a good gap there, and uh, difficulty uh, tackling. And we have a knock on in this come for Portugal. Very good defense for Portugal, very intense, uh, not giving any space to the US, pushing them to the outside of the, the field and provoking an error. And we have another debut for Portugal as the the outside center Gabriel Avanier uh, comes in. 19, 21 years old, plays in Kent. And Aldi, as Juve Lima comes out, uh, cheered by the Portuguese crowd. Very, very important for the uh, Getting some recognition here for, from the home crowd. As the game is uh, stopped, as uh, the number 18 from uh, the US, Pono Davies, is being assisted. Yes. And uh, the teams get uh, together and uh, chat a bit as we get closer to the last uh, 10 minutes of the, of the match with Portugal three points ahead. And uh, it's promising for, for the end. Very, very um, hard to predict game. Um, Portugal has been on top for the last 15 minutes. It's um, it's been a really, really good game. Portugal stepped up big time, um, fast on the defense, strong on the defense, not making any mistakes. They had one opportunity and they converted um, into points, bringing new, fast, agile players in to their back sideline. Um, even the props who came in the, first, the entire first row has been very, very good uh, and putting some quite some difficulties on the US scrum that was actually gaining some advantage. So looking good for Portugal. Let's see how the US um, tries to fight this. And the US, as we mentioned, has been doing a really, really good job on the basics. Um, 
but Portugal's just been a bit one step ahead of them so we'll see how the US uh, with the new substitutions as well reacts to this new Portuguese wave as the scrum uh, starts to reset uh, and uh, we'll have the Portuguese Five. for Tony Campos set good balanced scrum Portugal can uh, Ball taking some time to come into the third row. Now attacking uh, wide, uh, but with no options there for Gabriel. And uh, support taking some time, and now a, a wide pass from Tomas to Simão. Right. Good action there on the ground, and, uh, as Portugal tries to switch directions, and uh, some difficulty there, keeping the position. I know, Ben. And now Nicolás Martins again. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, the is preparing uh, to, to get the kick. And, uh, high kick from uh, Antonio and good pressure from Simão. He's going to jump as he almost gets it. But it uh, seems like a knock on an advantage, but they, they played off the foot. And now we have a kick from Hugo Brie. Could it be a 50 22? Now going long again. Very unlucky today with the bounces. It's the second one that didn't bounce as good as you wanted. Um, so the US forces an error and gets a scrum on Portugal's Oh no. It's not just being being unlucky with the bounce uh, direction wise, but also uh, depth wise. The like, uh, ball keeps bouncing and bouncing a couple of times. The, the, the pitch must be uh, a bit hard, maybe. And John Granat leaves the field. Uh, being he's number eight and coming in with the uh, with, uh, number 20. It's uh, Diego Pinheiro Ruiz, which is uh, playing for uh, Masi. With, uh, five caps going into the six. Bye! Uh, Set! <laughs> the ball is available for the US uh, to attack. Playing it wide again, ball in the pocket, and then trying to attack the, the channel right after the, the little over there. And uh, Portugal uh, being uh, quite successful uh, on defense now. And uh, knock on, unfortunate knock on there from the, the, the American second row. As we'll have another scrum. I know. Not a scrum I'd love this, to see uh, play second play. half. Like you said, it's been a slower game. It's very intense. Uh, the players who are still yeah. on the pitch from the first half um, getting tired because you wouldn't see Greg Peterson making this mistake uh, very often. But look, it's been a very intense game, very, very even. As we have the US of the US side coming in, Tomas Kazadis, very interesting play, Thomas Casares. Um, original from Argentina. Uh, he was international all age, great uh, throughout his career, and moved to the US to to study. Uh, his father is American, and he is very interesting. So, uh, very interesting player to look at. Bye. Also, his debut. Set. Portugal playing off the scrum, now trying to step in, Manuel Verreiro. It's a shame, he fell. Very fast, Manuel Verreiro. Now Ugo Bri is going to uh, try the kick. In front, wait. Uh, again, a long kick from uh, Ugo. Putting the ball inside the 22, almost slipping. Uh, and then uh, now trying to attack by hands. And the good pressure from Portugal. and. Uh, now a uh, flat line there from the American winger as Portugal have everyone on their feet and prepared to put pressure on the US side as they are preparing for another kick. Let's see if they can recover the possession. A good jump from Ferreiro and good pressure from the US as well. The tackler, uh, difficulty coming out as Luka Mashu plays to Diogo Asi. As he plays a uh, short pop pass uh, to his uh, teammates. Uh, Use it. Nice, 
prepares again for another box kick. A high kick from Antonio Campos and uh, uh, Portugal not able to, to challenge uh, the possession, but uh, nothing great Eight coming three. from uh, the US then, but uh, yeah. as they get a penalty. Sex need to come back round in the side. Sideway. Uh, uh, Sideway entry in the ruck and uh, we'll have a penalty for the US. They'd have a chance to put Portugal into a difficult position inside their own 22. And take a breather. Seven minutes to go and uh, three points uh, uh, behind the Portugal. So Portugal with a very difficult uh, situation right now. The US needs to slow. The US needs to slow down the game. They were doing very that very well on the first half. They were slowing down Portugal's offense. Um, they haven't been able to do this in this, the last 20 to 30 minutes, and um, it shows. You start looking at the team of US a bit more tired, a bit more slow. So, and a clean ball now from the US. No, no challenge from uh, Portugal. Good, uh, good into contact uh, with the forward momentum again. Uh, second phase uh, hitting the gain line. Let's see if the US can go all the way and get the score. Nope. And uh, almost a penalty there, but uh, the referee allowing to play as the US keep uh, having the forward momentum. Very, very, very compressed the, 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 the US offensive. What do you have to say to my? <laughs> defense being more competent and uh, not allowing for the US to get the game line. They did now. And the defending. Hands off! Still the US is progressing. Can they go for the try? Very important try here for the US if they manage to get it. As they get closer and tighter and try to attack that uh, gap between the the Portuguese defensive forwards as we have the ball held up. The and we'll have a line goal, uh, goal line dropout for Portugal. Um, the ball was lost short by you and you moved it forward. Not and the line. I'm going back to... Uh, was it a penalty that he... A penalty, apparently the US was right. playing advantage. I missed that, uh, that call. And, uh, and now, now he... They're going to tap and go, uh, the US, and see if they can get the try from there. The US player going to do some uh, difficulties there. And the Portuguese having some time to breathe. As well as uh, uh, the American forward back who has been uh, on action for the last couple of minutes. Much. We're 4 minutes 30 seconds to the from the 80 minutes to the end of the, uh, the match. And uh, Portugal in a very tough decision here. Play! The pressure there, again with a short pass and uh, going back into contact, trying to play on the pick and go. Uh, on side. Decent defending here from Portugal, trying not to do any penalties. No hands! Get out of this position, uh, the US can get the try. Really good defense. And now there is a challenge for the US. And the US are now in a very good position. Where they could They're playing advantage as well. They're playing advantage. And it could be a yellow card. Let's see what the referee decides as uh, the US keeps playing their advantage. And they uh, have now uh, an option to to risk uh, a bit more if they want. And uh, are they going for the try? No, not yet. New advantage. Very good question, defense. And uh, it seems like he's a new advantage. And a try now. And a try for the US as they go up ahead with uh, three minutes and 20 seconds to go. And uh, the US go. 19 to 17 with the uh, with the easy kick now for the US and Portugal under great pressure here in front of their own crowd. Um, the US managed to put Portugal against the um, the ropes, figuratively speaking. Um, yeah. Very heavy, very methodical, very clinical. Um, what I believe the US needs to do in the last three minutes of the game is slow down the game. 
they're much more comfortable when the game's slow there in Portugal. Portugal struggles a bit when the game's a bit slow, when it's concentrated around the ruck. And I think that's the US going to do. Is he going to take their time kicking the ball? They're going to receive it and just slow the game down as much as possible. And this conversion uh, makes it even difficult, more difficult for Portugal as uh, they get, uh, the US gets uh, four points ahead. They need a try. Uh, and now they need a the try. They need a try. They, they need a try, Portugal. And they're kicking back to the US uh, that has uh, time to, to keep the ball and, and, and play slower balls and uh, maybe kick it out. Let's see if Portugal can, can fight to recover it uh, as the drop kick is not good. Fortunate so mistake here from, uh, from Portugal. Scrum. Middle of the field. Back into a scrum. The scrum should take some time to set up. And let's see if it's enough for for the US to, to take home the victory uh, from uh, Coimbra here in Portugal. I think this is the best possi situation possible for the US. They're very comfortable with the ball in their hands. Um, they like the game when it's slower. They've got the ball possession, one minute to go. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they just kept the ball, pick and go, play very close to the rock and just wait for the referee to tell them to last ball and then kick it up. And uh, we have uh, a bit more than one minute to go and we have a scrum for the US. The ball is in the number eight. Let's see, keeping the ball in, no hurries. Attacking the shoulder gap and now uh, playing hands. Uh, the US not risking much. Now uh, they have to play. Out. Playing again, short face. No risking on the US side now again. Uh, and the kick. Mm, wasn't expecting that. And uh, good pressure now on the mark. And we have Ruman Alvarado kicking it long. So we got to get from here. Uh, a weird bounce there and uh, good pressure from Portugal as uh, we get closer to the end of the game. Can Portugal get a penalty here? And yes, a penalty. <laughs> Can we see history rewriting itself again? And the US were in such a comfortable position holding the possession. They only had to keep the ball. And, uh, I think okay. Portugal's going to tap it. I don't know what Portugal is going to decide on uh, now, but I'll definitely go for the lineup here. Uh, and let's see, let's see what happens. It ha and, and, and Portugal came from a very, very, very uh, difficult uh, situation to uh, bringing the US uh, against the roads and uh, uh, putting putting uh, the game into. It happened a couple of years ago. Portugal just coming from behind just trying to get a penalty to kick it and they got it and they went to the World Cup and we'll see how Portugal with the support of his own crowd. Portugal likes to score last minute tries and we'll see the World Cup with it. Uh, not a try but a kick in, in Dubai against, uh, against uh, the US and uh, Portugal playing the ball. But not progressing much and uh, if it collapses is the ball available for Portugal to play. Uh, it seems like uh, it should be available and Portugal now uh, playing uh, uh, short and uh, very dangerous. And can we get a penalty there for the US? No, uh, the ball is available for Portugal. Now with patience, playing short. We have advantage. The US needs to be on their feet. Needs to to he was pushed the, into uh, it. Tackle uh, behind the game line and a penalty yeah, yeah, for yeah. Portugal now. The referee did mention penalty. Portugal had an advantage. Um, I think they're going to the scrum now. Not quite capable of listening to what uh, uh, the referee was telling uh, to Tomas. But as he walks closer to the line, uh, to the sideline, I'd say maybe Portugal will go for the line out again. Yes, exactly. And uh, we have another five meter line out for Portugal and another chance to, to turn the score around. Here for Portugal, as Portugal doesn't get a clean ball from the lineup, but the ball is available no. for Portugal to I play know. again. And 
the ball. Nicolas Martins with the ball. Nicolas Martins with the ball. Balls are played. Portugal. USA. Referee says play on. Very difficult to understand now this uh, breakdown situation, but Portugal playing out wide. Oh, uh, and the ball falling back to the ground. Let's see if no, the fail is it goes. And uh, gets uh, tackled there by the the US defense. It has been doing quite well this last uh, few phases, uh, gaining uh, some momentum and, uh, and moving forward as Portugal tries to reset their attack. Back. Now trying to accelerate and playing into space uh, too much. Uh, ball. Appleton tackles. Portugal not able to. Uh, Very well played. To get the gain line. To hit the gain line. As uh, Nicolas Martins uh, tries to be creative and get something Tackle. out of the messy or difficult uh, situation there. And Portugal restart. A lot of pressure from the US. They want it. Tackle, they want it. Uh, it's much. I think they want revenge for the last two games. Completely yeah. showing more maturity now. No, no penalty so far. Really? Uh, also, Antonio Campos, very very good entry of the game. He's quick on the ball, getting port making Portugal play as fast as we can. Very, very good. Again, uh, not many uh, solutions here for uh, Portugal. Playing... Uh, and in a situation where they cannot even play their uh, specific uh, style of game, and again they, they, they tell me I'm wrong. With it. <laughs> and a good job there from the Portuguese uh, uh, forward uh, Santiago. And he got it. He got, it. he got it. He got it. As the ball is uh, again available for Antonio Campos to play to Gabriel, now to Thomas Appleton, to Gabriel who plays on the outside. Is this uh, Simon Bento? Simon Bento is, I think it's 30 on that yes, wing. Seems like it. Now playing again on the back. Now we have uh, another uh, flat pass five. there as the ball is available again for uh, Antonio Campos. Oh, and a good attack there with good support. The ball again for Portugal, but Portugal very difficult for Portugal to, to to hit the game line and really good pressure from the US. Not making uh, mistakes and uh, and making it difficult for Portugal to <laughs> they're going back. They've been going back for the last uh, It's very good defensive skills phases, from the I'd US. Say. Very, very good defense. Very hard to play against that. And the penalty now for the US and they made it. And they made it. The, this last two minutes were. I think every uh, you as a coach, you should show this to everyone. <laughs> it's just such a good defensive display. Text, textbook defending here from. Uh, Don't give any space. From uh, the US as uh, they prepare to kick the ball out and uh, win, the, win the match against Portugal, 21 to 17, four points ahead. The US. Takes home the win here in uh, Coimbra. Unfortunate for the home fans, but a terrific match from uh, the US. They've been quite well, uh, especially on defense, uh, making it very difficult for Portugal to, to uh, explore their style of game and uh, very, very uh, secure and very, very uh, organized in the attack. Uh,
one-end music.